in the NCAA tournament. And Northern Kentucky, Jim, they're a disciplined, well-coached team, very efficient on the offensive end. LeVon Holland and, of course, Drew McDonald, the inside-outside combination. They are going to have to play big against this very talented Wildcat team. And I'm going to talk about Kentucky because they don't like you. <laughs> and I understand why. <laughs> With that outlet. Uh, you think of the guards, a solid play, I think, in the background, Aaron Fox and, of course, Monk pressuring the entry. I think defense is what it's all about for Kentucky to get hold of this game. And the lineups look this way. You mentioned Holland. The junior is not but one senior in the starting lineup for Coach John Brannon. That would be Cole Murray. Three freshmen starting for Coach Cal and Kentucky. Along with the senior, Derek Willis. And the sophomore in Isaiah Briscoe. So, Kentucky and Northern Kentucky underway here in Indianapolis. Yeah, Jim Grant, the ability to guard is so important right now. A little bit of man by the Norse. Northern Kentucky, they have to rebound, transition defense, and keep Kentucky out of the paint to have a chance. There's Fox. How about that? It's a quick shot, just 18 seconds into the game. And a little double left them open. Mike Collins game really can do a lot of things. The tax gets in the middle, can finish. Look at this cross. <laughs> he can play. Oh, yeah. And he looks around. Oh, he knows, he, he knows he's got a little ability. We see Jim Nance over here. <laughs> yeah, right. yeah, he's looking right at me, right? <laughs> yeah. That's pretty impressive little move, though, to get that shot. He is so talented. free. Monk. How about that one? Wow. Uh, some backcourt, no question about it. You throw Briscoe into the mix because he is one of the great drivers in the country. McDonald, the key guy, how they play him. A real good offensive game. A monk on Murray who can really stretch the D if they find him. Look at this move. And Briscoe secures it, and the foul call is on Williams of Northern Kentucky. This has got to feel good right now for Holland. A little hesitation, crossover, step back, getting his rhythm, and then Monk, known as a shooter, but attacking the closeout. Oh, showing you he can hit with his left as well. So skilled, so talented. I think at the other end, Bam saying, I didn't sign up for this kind of guy. <laughs> Aren't a little guy that quick? Oh, man. Willis, another guy can stretch the day. Oh, Fox has been shooting the ball so much better. Had the hot hand in the SEC tournament where he was named the most outstanding player. Oh, I'm sorry, Jim. Holland floater. That's the soft touch. And he was looking to pass, too. It was a nice feel for the game. Kentucky quickly to the other end, and bam, though. Wow. And yes, Bam Bam. <laughs> Out of five, though, Bam Bam. And that's going to be the key, keeping yep. him off the glass. The size. Yeah. And it wins that. A little trap now. A little pressure. Nice fill. He can shoot. Three pointer. Duty. That's Murray. That's his 100th three pointer of the season. And it's going to be a foul call against Cole Murray. Of the Norse. And a great pass there by McDonald. Stone Cold Murray knocking it down. He did a little home run trot, didn't get back in transition. <laughs> Monk came down and got to the basket for Kentucky, but Murray won it, one of a, the great shooters in the Horizon League. And well, you're right, though, the speed of Kentucky. I mean, you really got to sprint back and look over your shoulder, get protection from others. This is my first time seeing Kentucky in person, and the length of their backcourt, it's like a, a, a lane violation by Kentucky on that free throw, but Monk and Fox so athletic and so long. I'm not sure I saw that. But maybe at first it was going to be Adebayo was in there early, but it didn't seem to be all that obvious. He took the point off the board at 7 7. McDonald. He's got a game. Nice floater. Big, strong guy. Ooh, look at Fox with the defenders. Oh, out of bio. 
Well, second dunk already. And they got the foul right here on the inbounds pass on Fox. But anytime you drive, you draw some attention. And we talked about Bam with a strong hammer. And he just knows how to be in the right spot and finish with a plum. Northern Kentucky really not don't have any rim protectors, but you got to block out. Out of bio, man. Wow. These two schools a little more than an hour apart. Yeah, it's rejected by Willis. Should have been a little more creative at the rim there. And Murray takes it back. Rebound by the Norse. They really like to go through McDonald. I haven't been able to get him anything on the box. Adebayo is guarding him way out. He knows this kid can play. McDonald so skilled. Williams really nice team up front. Nice drive. Let's go. Comes away. This is where he's dangerous in the open court. And should have had the monk. Kentucky moving it quickly. Briscoe back outside. Fox stumbles for a moment. Willis free for the three. Yes. Oh boy, he can really drill it. A little surprise him getting engaged on senior night. That was some moment, huh? Yeah, very touchy. Uh, he plays well. Rebounds and shoots it. What an added dimension. Thomas. That rattles out. There's Willis, who proposed that night on senior night to Keely Potts at Rupp Arena. She obviously said yes. <laughs> there was quite, quite a way to approach it. That could have been a long night if she said no. No kidding. So senior night. a long life. <laughs> Last seven points to Kentucky. <laughs> Nice fake. McDonald. Look at this passing. Williams back out with it. McDonald sets that. the feet. And Williams again keeps it alive. Good job of the kick out. Ooh, I would have taken it. Murray will. Back to the rim. Long oh, rebound, Willis. Three on one. Oh, they That's a the up. They never called it. They didn't call it. They were saying it was a fumble. I thought he should have given it up, though. Saw it right here in transition. Willis trying to get to the basket. Up, huh? got to be a walk. Got to be a walk, maybe. The stakes have been raised for this matchup. Kentucky up seven on Northern Kentucky. Let's go over to Tracy. You're right, Jim. Literally, the stakes <laughs> yeah. have been raised. One local Cincinnati restaurateur has promised all Northern Kentucky students, 15,000 of them, a steak dinner if they beat Kentucky tonight. Well, you know what? A Kentucky, Lexington, Kentucky restaurant has promised all Kentucky Wildcat fans all students a steak dinner if they win the whole thing. Well, the always confident John Calipari tweeting out, I hope they bought insurance. Jim? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Jeff Ruby who got this whole thing started with the steak bet. And uh, it certainly has drawn a lot of attention here in the days leading up to this matchup. Look at Frisco. He's very good at the rim. Uh, the ability to drive is amazing. If he could work on his jump shot and have a middle game, Strong puts that shoulder down and hits right at the rim. I'm sure you have not been at that restaurant all your many travels, have you? <laughs> well, how about being in line for the, 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 the free steak dinner either way if somebody has to actually pay off of that one? In one case, you're talking about 15,000 students, other one you're talking somewhere around 40,000 people. Well, Murray screen down to give him that look. off Kentucky watch live games on your computer phone tablet or streaming devices with NCAA March Madness live watch now NCAA.com slash March Madness or download the app today and Bam trying to catch it before you know try to shoot it before he caught it Mason Faulkner has come in for Northern Kentucky number 11 brought it up court also brought in Brendan Gillis he has it now gives it up Faulkner is thirsty to score. As a foul is called, it looks like on Willis. Hey, these two uh, schools are about 70 miles apart. Northern Kentucky is 120 miles away from 
Indianapolis. But this school in Highland Heights, Kentucky, is seven miles south of downtown Cincinnati. And about, what, within 10 miles of both the University of Cincinnati and Xavier. They built a nice program, though, since they've transitioned. They were a powerhouse Division II, and having to serve like a four-year period when they had to reclassify, they had to serve four years before they were eligible for the tournament. This was the first year of that eligibility, and they make it. An amazing feat, no question about it, what John's been able to do with that program. And now going deep into the bench. Great ball movement here. Monk steps up, gives it up. Willis. Well, they didn't score, but that was Clinic in moving that ball. Great, great look, no question about it. Fork and all those guys who can run the point, handles it, kick out threes. Bad replacement. Norris is scoreless now for about four minutes. Having missed the last six shots. Pretty. Very nicely done. They'll send Carson Williams to the line. The freshman from Owen County High School in Owenton, Kentucky. And Jimmy loves that spin move. Seeing its impact. Pretty good ducking. Smart player. Mm -hmm. All freshman team in the Horizon League. Bleacher reports animated series Game of Zones returns this April. Watch Game of Zones only on the Bleacher Report app. And Gabriel on the floor now. Well, he's got a big upside. Very talented. Can get up and down the floor. Impacts on the defensive end. A free throw. A pair of free throws. Comes after Kentucky had reeled off 10 unanswered. Northern Kentucky now in a 1-3-1 one, one zone. You have to find shooters. And this is one of them. Wow. Boy, that had some hang time. <laughs> it is exactly. amazing. He propels off the floor. Whatever is necessary. Maybe we can get up and overshadow even big guys with that jump. A nice slope. And last touch by the Wildcats. And just a beautiful shot here. Great one dribble, two dribble pull up. Elevation, extension, great follow through. The last few years, they've Kentucky has had these great shooters. Devin Booker, Jamal Murray last year, and Malik Monk, next in line. And again, that nice pin down. McDonald off the back of the rim. The one three one McDonald's in the back hasn't been able to get out and cover Monk in the corner. Now they're more of a straight up look. Isaac Humphreys. Half the round, last touch. Nope, it's saved by Northern Kentucky. Walkins on the floor, but he's done a great nice run and five and one. McDonald to the line for a chance at a three-point play. And Faulkner with the five didn't hesitate. Very competitive group. Really had some good clean looks, but right down the middle, uh, that's not good defense by Kentucky's high standards. He's first team all. Horizon League is Drew McDonald. Averages 16 points, 8 rebounds a game. Big, strong upper frame. Shoot the three-pointer. Like you said, a great floater. A number of double-doubles this season. Maybe that'll get him going. A bio back in. We got a couple of early thunder dunks for the Wildcats. Oh, the 2-3 look now. This is where he is tough. Get into that floater. Oh. Like to find with the speed, the spindly legs. Oh, can I relate? <laughs> Quickness too, right? You can relate to that. Not the game. <laughs> oh, with the three this time. Garrett on the floor, good offensive rebounder. That's Jeff Garrett battling for it. Gonna belong to Northern Kentucky out of the break. Coverage continues after this message and a word from your local station. Adam Zucker in New York with this tournament update on TBS. Marquette has been making shots. Caden Reinhardt with a three. They're shooting over 50% from the floor and from deep. 
leading the Gamecocks in Greenville, South Carolina, a possible Wojo versus K second round matchup as we go back to Jim Raff, Grant, and Tracy. All right, Adam, Duke of winner, 87-65 earlier tonight in action there in Greenville, South Carolina. Here we're in Indianapolis, and the Kentucky Wildcats up by eight. And Holland's back in the game, Jim. He has two fouls. He has to be careful. He has to still remain aggressive for North. Here's the drive and the rejection. Willis with a second block. Ooh, what a save. You can shoot it over there. Well, you can't leave him alone. They didn't develop the deeper team. With Hawkins continuing the great play. Yeah. Traveling call against Kentucky. Now, let's see if Northern Kentucky can put something together. They've missed 11 of the last 12 shots from the field. They're not attacking. I mean, it's just a matter of talent and height at the rim has been some part of the problem. Give Kentucky credit. They, their defense has been stellar here. Here's Dantez Walton. Look. On the corner, Hawkins hits the three. What a tough kid he is. Coming off one of the real highlights of his career at Kentucky. Senior, of course. He made the All-SEC Tournament team. Had 14 points and four steals in the final in the win against Arkansas. You know, one of those catch-and-shoot threes. You saw that. You had to keep your eye on him. He didn't look. Holland, they gave him the lead. Goodness, swing it down. Woo. How about that? They are not packing off. Not at all. He's all pepped up, too. Should be. There's Willis. Good the checkouts there out of the zone. Holland was one of the best highlights of the day we've seen. In four games of action, that's kicked by Kentucky. Are you the authority on this move? <laughs> right there, Holland. Woo! Just a nice elevation, attacking the rim. No rim protector inside. Holland dunking it with authority there. He was the most outstanding player of the Horizon League tournament. They beat Milwaukee to win the the championship in their league to get the automatic berth. And now he hits the little baseline jumper. Well, he's a confident player. Fun to watch him. Creates on his own. That a Louisville, Kentucky. Out of Ballard High School. Oh, Allen Houston went. Down and high. Way outside three. Nice check out today. Come up with it. Tough to give these power teams these opportunities make the extra pass Not this time for Hawkins nice. Big box out there by Northern yeah. Kentucky collective rebounding gang rebounding three-pointer all Kentucky underneath off the mark there was Garnett they missed their last eight from three talking about what the Norse have done Let's check out on Willis. I thought he was going to shoot that deep one. Diving it in, put it up wildly though. Fights back in, well defended by Kentucky. He does get after it though, but got it. Snap the outlet pass. Holland. Don't be lax on this kid. I like they feel it out with a push and then settle. McDonald and it's down to four. You they, can't leave him. They play with a lot of confidence. I feel like that dunk by Holland has gotten them going yeah. a little bit here. Yeah. They may be right. They've scored seven unanswered. And against his own nice entry here. And they get McDonald underneath. How about this kid? Wide open, plays with a lot of, and he's good down on the box as well. He could be a dilemma. 
He gets nailed with that foul, I believe, didn't he? He did his first. Yeah. He played for Coach Brandon's brother in high school at Newport Central Catholic. John had the advantage in recruiting. And he sure did. Well, <laughs> he'd actually, I don't know, he'd already assigned, had signed with Northern Kentucky. And then shortly thereafter, Brandon gets the coaching job, and that was great familiarity. Mm -hmm. Same high school, in fact, that John went to as well. Played there at Newport. Here's the Cody Donovan connection. Stolen away. It's Faulkner with the back. Nice kick back. Goes trailer, and it's short with a three. That was Walton. Could have trended to one. Monk from downtown. Mm, and a foul on Briscoe. And a giveaway. I like it. Getting after one another. Yeah, feisty. Yeah. Exactly. Like you. <laughs> Put him up. <laughs> Kentucky's missed its last six shots. And Northern Kentucky hanging in there. And one of the reasons why, LeVon Holland the second. And since he's checked back in the game, he's injected some life into this team. Really putting him on his back, getting him back in the game. And you like this play right here, right? Oh, it's reminiscent of you. Uh, this kid has some game. He makes plays, very confident. He runs the show. And the zone has had its impact. It's forced Kentucky to settle for those deep shots. And screening off is a, a terrific fashion. The rebound as well. And Holland's had his probably the best six games of his career as of late, playing great basketball. He got away with a double dribble right there, it looked like. Coming off the screen, Holland unable to get the ball. And Faulkner tried to save it. Backcourt violation. Got to throw it to someone, unfortunately. I said I thought he might oh yeah actually right idea of going out of the double team he's got to get got to hit the target and there's another steal by Norse as Kentucky's return to its starting five the freshman there's a good Williams. push move stay yeah. there they are confident in that low box area. He ducks in, delivers, turnaround jumper. How about that little kiss delivery? The zone has really served them well. Almost like a 1 2 2. Who delivered the Buick expectation shattering performance of the day? Tune in to Inside March Madness presented by Buick and find out. You gotta figure Holland's watch Fox salivating for this opportunity, don't you think? Oh, without a doubt. Without him, the same state. Nice cross. Let's go. Short with the shot. But this zone has given Kentucky problems. Taking them out of their rhythm. And Norse's rebound. Here's Ooh. Murray launching a long shot. That was from Cincinnati. <laughs> Would have given him the lead. And Willis can really make entry passes. And he starts making this. What a value commodity he can be because he can blow by anybody and run a team that's the first basket by kentucky in four minutes 45 seconds Holland doubled up and kentucky takes it away it's box for the dunk and nobody posted the guard puffed it up but you've got to present yourself and give him an opportunity Carson Williams has to make himself available. Here you go. Clean look. Hurry. That's one he normally would knock down. Look how fast Fox gets to the hole. And it counts. Man. We have seen some speed today. Yes. Evans earlier today. Yes, you have. How about the south pole with this one? Wow. Speed indeed. Wow. Length. Size. Concentration. Look at Mack truck coming at you there. So skilled. You think about some of the efforts we watched today by a player on the team that did not win. You mentioned Evans. And then you had Norbertus Giga, Jacksonville State with 30 in the loss to Louisville. 
And then you had Scoochie Smith. Yep. Played very well, and too. Particularly Dayton, early. Dayton's lost to Wichita State. Brilliant performances. But in the losing cause, they gave it their all. Holland. They settle out. Oh, like she'd go by. Man. Williams. Good work. McDonald. Oh, these guys are competing. Nice look. But, ooh. McDonald wants to try it. He is tied up, and the arrow is going to the Wildcats. Now, his footwork is excellent, but that time exposed the basketball. Here's a look at the tournament summary. North Carolina knocking out Texas Southern. How about Roy Williams in the round of 64? That's Amazing. 27-0. Never. One year. And his team let its guard down. Wichita State defeats Dayton. A lot of people feeling good about the heels. You don't have to comment, by the way, Grant. <laughs> he picked them. Did he? No. Yeah. Hey, they are very talented. Roy Williams, a fantastic coach. They got great balance, guard play, interior play. They are a team to watch. I guess you won't be at the uh, fantasy camp at Durham. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that, that invitation rescinded. My <laughs> jumper, two more. Tough kid. Yeah. Oh, really has some shape stuff. Let me look at this. Great left. They've had some good looks. They haven't been able to hit them since they pulled within two. The last eight points to Kentucky. Now coming down the stretch. Danger time. Start to pick the zone apart a little bit. Get some offensive rebounds. Kentucky's brought Winion Gabriel onto the floor. Number 32. Briscoe is back. Here's Adebayo showing his outside game. He starts hitting that shot. He's unguardable. Ten unanswered by the Cats. Go up a dozen. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Marriott. Northwestern Mutual. And by Buick. Watching the big dance calls for big refreshment. So grab a delicious ice cold Coca-Cola and enjoy the game. Coca-Cola, taste the feeling. Kentucky with a 10-0 run for the second time in the game. They put together a run of that size. Just when Northern Kentucky had trimmed it to 23-21, even had one look at a three for the lead. I think it was Murray in the corner, right? Was. But what did you say? Well, they about five trips, good shots. Good shots. Up empty yeah. and they jump ball. They've missed their last six from the field. In fact, they're only shooting 27% for the game. That's off the foot of Holland. In trouble. And it's taken away by Kentucky. Up ahead they go. And bam! She goes. Ring the bell. And they can really get after you defensively. That was the concern, I think, coming into this game. How you value the ball. A little nickel diamond here by... Hawkins. Got the under four break coming up. Kentucky's run continues. 12 unanswered. When Chef Kevin prepares a special meal for his friends, no one is safe. A new Kevin can wait Monday at 8, 7 Central. Only CBS. NKU Norris can put together a little flurry of their own. They had a good little stretch there at one point in this first half. And, and, you know, I like the patience this trip. This is an important trip, I think. Get you going a little bit. Williams back outside with it. Four to shoot. McDonald Short. to take it. We get a foul, I think. Yeah, on Williams. Williams. Be a one-to-one -one at the other end. 
Uh, you don't mind slowing it down, but you got to get into something. You know, settling deep. Fantez Walton on the floor now for Coach John Brandon. This is only the second ever matchup between these two schools, again separated by about 70 miles. Just an hour drive between Lexington and Highland Heights. Gabriel, high arching shot, drops. They played in November of 2013 at Rupp. Kentucky won at 93-63. That was that uh, Kentucky team. It ended up being an eight seed. They made it all the way to the championship game. Beat Wichita State. I was just going to say, yeah, yeah. we're going to this pulls to form. You never know. Could be a Kentucky-Wichita State rematch here on this floor on Sunday. And it's a tie up's going to stay here. And it appears that Kentucky has figured out their offense. Norris unable to manufacture any. Right. Any basket right now. This is suffocating defense by the Wildcats. Just too much. Lavone doing a lot of little one on one stuff too. It was a good team collaboration defensively. Step back. Fade away. They've gone cold. It's getting to 23 21. Look at Fox. Quickly outside. Gabriel off the mark. Got to get one now. With their legs going, move the ball over. Don't eventually attack. Get it side to side. Well, you can make that. Missed the last eight shots. Here's a three. And that streak comes to an end. Well done. From the outside by Garnett. Six and a half minutes between baskets. And, and gentlemen, they get a couple of stops here. Maybe a couple of baskets. Get the game to seven, eight points going into halftime would be ideal. Gabriel slides off the rim. Pulled down by Norse. Yeah, good job, Fade Dribble getting him organized. Got this guy now. Got a little, little yeah. floater coming. McDonald, a little soft foot off the front. And a little upset with himself. That was big, I think, in terms of building confidence, get to 10. Timeout, Kentucky. With 1.38 to go, first half. Who's going to make the most shots? Who has more points in the second half? Hey, if your bracket's already busted, play the Capital One NCAA Tournament Run Game on NCAA.com and in the March Madness Live app. A little zone look there. Let's check it out. Yep. No, straight up. Kentucky back with its starting five. Nice. Yeah. Tough catch, right? Yeah. yeah. Good luck, though. 11 to shoot. Inbounding underneath. Little gamesmanship going on in the corner there. Big Bam and McDonald. Two McDonald's over there. <laughs> Risco. And a shot clock violation. I feel like Risco should have maybe. Roll to the basket there. In KU, the only team in the NCAA without a player 6'8 or taller on the entire roster. Yet they still out rebounded 26 opponents on the season, going 24 and 10 on the year. Yeah, that tells you a couple of things. One, how well coached they are, and fundamentally sound. Nice cut, a little slip, pretty. Mm. Walton missed the layup. Risco, and he's able to get past McDonald in a hurry. That's One man fast break right yeah. there. He can really attack with those big shoulders. Gotta go at it. Side to side with the bounces. Walton 
Finds it from the outside. Long rebound out to Kentucky. Looks like uh, Norris might get that rebound, but Kentucky beat him to the spot. Faulkner was waiting for McDonald. Go get it yourself. So Kentucky to hold for the last shot. Rebound, you're thinking. Briscoe with five. Puts it up. Put it up early. Got a chance. Here's Faulkner taking it to Briscoe. Oh, Not okay. in time. Not in time. Almost got there. One dribble too much. What are yeah, they Greg? trying to do with Tyus Endy right there? <laughs> coast to coast. Yeah, number 11 like Endy. Right there. An extra dribble. They got the right call, too. Wow. Tough. They could have used it. Yeah, no basket. And the margin at halftime is 14. Let's go to Tracy. Thanks a lot. Coach, they were able to trim it to two at one point, but a big run down the stretch here. What did you like that you saw from your team? Well, we had to scramble the game up. We had to switch some stuff. Um, the, the issue I'm having right now is they're getting a ton of open threes that they're missing. They make those. This is a different ball game. So we got to go talk about that. Um, and then the second thing is you can't settle. You got to drive the ball inside out basketball, either throw it in or drive it in. But, you know, again, a bunch of freshmen, you got a little bit of the jitters. You know, a kid misses a one footer. I mean, we're fine. It's deja vu. We hear that all the time. Thanks, coach. Well, they close out the half 15 to 3 to lead it 38 24. We've got. AT&T at the half coming up with scores and highlights, the latest tournament news on AT&T at the half. 38-24, Kentucky leads it at the intermission. Led by Fox with 10, out of Bayou with 10. We'll send you to AT&T at the half after this message and a word from your local station. Coverage of the NCAA Men's Basketball Tournament is sponsored by Degree. Samsung. Life. And by Powerade. Let's take a look at the degree first half stats and the Norse held a 24% shooting in that first half. It's a Kentucky lead 38-24 back with Grant and Billy and Tracy and you're seeing Kentucky for the first time this season. What do you think? Oh, they are so talented, so athletic. I thought they, they had the game under control. They let the foot off the gas a little bit there midway through the first half and, and, and of course Northern Kentucky got back in the game but when this team is locked in on both ends of the court, they are impossible to stop. And we saw them early in the year against Carolina. They were phenomenal. They've gotten better. They're better defensively. I think they're deeper. And you heard Cal say, you know, some open looks. This team can get back in it if they make their shots right now for the Kentucky. We saw last year on the opening week, we were in Des Moines, and Kentucky was there. Got knocked out in the second round. Match up against Indiana. How does this Kentucky team, you both feel, this Kentucky team versus last year's team? Yeah, I think to Bill's point, they're deeper. They have better balance. Uh, and, and this team, I think, is is uh, is improved in playing great defense. Obviously, Tyler Eulis was sensational last year for the Wildcats. This team has a chance to go far. And I think when Fox shoots the ball like he is now, Jim, this is a nice interception. Jumping. Murray. But when he shoots the ball, I mean, it's a different dimension that he presents. And the great thing is he can get to that mid-range anytime he wants. And as you said, Fox knocking that down. Boy, tough to guard. Here's Fox. That quick, explosive step. Over to Willis. Three is off. And Williams. Here's the thing for Northern Kentucky. Their two best players, six for 20 combined in the first half. Colin McDonald, as Cal said, they had good looks, just not able to convert. And John Brandon, of course, you know, they've really done a great job with this team, too. These are the two key guys, I think. Carson, really great footwork. Look at that. That's impressive. Unbelievable. 
His ability around that will bleed. Delivered. Here's Mark. That one rattles out. That's Williams with the rebound. Williams, who was Mr. Kentucky basketball last year. Mr. Basketball in the state of Kentucky. And McDonald. Oh, that was big. Ooh, a little giveaway. Not a bad play. <laughs> That's Murray with the contact on the outside. Talk about the inside move there from Wilson. Nice strength, ball fake. Getting Willis in the air. Got some size on him. He does big husky guys up front. A little two three looker, one one three. This gave Kentucky slowed him down a little bit. Oh, just oh so strong and to the line for one more. But he reminds me of a great running back, and you see enough of him get for the year. He turns, turns towards the rim, and look at this strength. Able to take the lick and finish the deal. He used to call that kind of move, if you will, in football parlance. That was beast mode out in Seattle. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's got that kind of control. Tough kid. Just keep working on that shot, though. That's the one thing. Gets the three-point play. He sets up that little pressure. This is where I love Fox. Look at those legs move. And it's been double. Got to get over the line. Got two seconds. Come on. Overshot it. Half the round. Got a Kentucky player on the back. I think it might be Willis, Jim. Yep. They're looking for Bam, though, aren't they? No, they got Willis. And I know it's been a rough night for Northern Kentucky, but... They have done a good job rebounding. Mm -hmm. and they're up right now, 27-27 on the boards. This is a team that came in having won 12 of its last 14. And again, 24 wins overall. This is a, a plus 15 improvement in the win column from a year ago. They were a nine-win season. A nine-win team just a year ago. Minnesota was better, right, Jeff? That's the Minnesota best in the country. Yeah. Win improvement. Wow. Um, running out of time. And off the front of the rim. For Gillis. Got to get back. He's going to attack. Floats it to the corner. Two or three in and out. Three pointers there, Monk. Last and throws Frisco. And to the line again. Can't give them ample opportunities. And you're right. Now Monk, a terrific shooter, has had some really clean looks with the extra hustle, the attack of the rim, and you can challenge him, but he is stronger than most. So Gabriel back on the floor for Kentucky, as well as Dominique Hawkins. Cal raves about this leadership uh, exhibited by Briscoe this year. He's the voice, the connection. In many ways, the toughness, don't you think? Yeah, without a doubt. Has personality, has experience. So strong. Very free, unable to. Holland down and out, but Williams gets the offensive board. Went back outside with it. Hawkins a little late with the giveaway. Get complete coverage of the NCAA Division I Women's Tournament at NCAA.com. The Women's Final Four is in Dallas March 31st and April the 2nd. Inbound coming from Jeff Garrett, transfer from Alabama. And you talked earlier about Fox, his ability to pressure the ball, his length. He enjoys taking the challenge, guarding the other team's point guard, He's giving Holland all types of trouble up top. Yeah, that's the physical end of it in terms of future with him. You know, he get a little stronger, but he's a sinewy strong as well. Exactly. Holland. All net on the three. Timeout called by Northern Kentucky.
Here's a look at when the network coverages get started across CBS, TNT, and TBS. Second round beginning at noon Eastern, CBS, Notre Dame, West Virginia, 5 p.m. TNT. As the NCAA Infinity tip-off show leading into Xavier and Florida State. Middle Tennessee and Butler on TBS. All these uh, games across CBS, TNT, TBS over 12 hours tomorrow. Middle Tennessee, Butler game. Middle Tennessee making some noise in the tournament for the second three year. One of the stories of the first two days, you might say, well, what's the surprise of the tournament? The surprise is how few surprises there have been. It's amazing. Really think about it. And we all thought coming in it would be mind-boggling. Haven't lost a Sweet 16 seed so far. This handle here, he doesn't do that too often. That's Holland. He's going to get the ball back for his side. Off the arrow. Yeah, the top four seeds, 14 and 0, with Kentucky uh, in action right here. And how about that number 18 point margin? Mm, wow. And UCLA up five in the second half. Has that ever happened before? What's that? Were they all the oh. first week? It's been a long time. It's been a long time. Wow. Because, you know, you think there's usually a 13 over a 4, a 14 over a 3. There have been eight all-time 15s defeating a 2. Yeah. But wow. we've got nothing this year. Mm -hmm. The 1 through 4s. The Lexington got a We've had some good games, though. Uh, getting late here in the shot clock. Haven't even broken the three-point line. Holland. Adebayo, by the way, has a double-double in this game. 10 points, 12 rebounds. That's deflected. Out of bounds belongs to Kentucky. Knocked out by Garrett. We'll continue from Indianapolis. Wildcats up 15. Watching the big dance calls for big refreshment. So grab a delicious ice cold Coca-Cola and enjoy the game, Coca-Cola. Taste the feeling. Kentucky stays in the fielding too as we check in. A memorable St. Patrick's Day watching basketball. A parade of basketball games here. Our fourth of four, and they've it's a good ones here today. Great about basketball, and of course, the, the enjoyable play of guys. And keeps me out of harm's way on St. Patrick's Day. Yeah, exactly, <laughs> I have to keep you in an arena. <laughs> This is the kid has got to get going. Oh, excuse me, I'm looking for LeVon. Oh, Faulkner. They really have had trouble cracking that three-point line. Man, out of bounds. Yeah, had just... foot on the line, back foot on the line. And right now, Kentucky over, over uh, denying everything, overplaying and offense of Northern Kentucky. They can't even get into their offense. Well, you did a lot of that, the denial. Yes. I do. You talk to deny and pressure the ball. That's some success. Fair, fair amount. And that whistle goes against Garrett. His first. But as much as Northern Kentucky has struggled, Kentucky just hasn't been able to stretch it out, stretch right. the lead out here. They're still in, you know. Yeah, about the same. It's been this margin for quite a while. You know, at your old age, you said it's attributable to youth. Look at that move by Fox. Well, that move right there was a youthful move. <laughs> there was a little envy in that comment. He can really hand somebody, though. Parker's got to be careful, protect it. Nice entry. Feed to Williams. And the Murray. assist by Murray. Yeah, a great lead to that baseline drop step. Briscoe. Yeah, they are in the right location, aren't they? Moving it around now, but have a strip. Numbers. Murray outside. It's amazing in the game today. I if Northern Kentucky keeps the ball and you have numbers players run to the three-point line not running for a layup opportunity on that two-on-one. It's usually a shooter that runs there though. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Yeah. 
Everybody else heads to that 10. Easy too. Yeah, exactly. That's the old time music. I'm showing my age now. <laughs> Northern Kentucky, only four of 22 from three. Nice little flex screen. Yeah, nice move with the left hand by and Carson Williams. And Jim, once again, Murray with a great look. Two quick assists. Yes. Well, he's been around it. Adamayo. Adamayo again. And fouled on the way up. He is tough, though, huh? In broad shoulders and good ball movement. Yes, indeed. Right now, nice cut by Williams. This is what Northern Kentucky has to do. I'm impressed, though. Carson Williams giving up some size inside. Uses his body. Great touch on the interior. Yeah, this... He's a man right there. <laughs> yeah, he's a big, strong oh. kid. And he's got some touch and finesse. That early jumper impressed you, that 10, 12 footer. Nice jump shot on the baseline. A little jump hook early on. Let's see if more than Kentucky can execute some offense here. Ball movement. Back kick. Cuts. Imagine that flex again. Here they go, cross screen again. Nice entry. Hey, Williams to the line. He's got 10 points and six rebounds. The CBS Sports app is your app for the tournament. Follow your bracket, watch highlights, get instant team and upset alerts. Download the CBS Sports app now to experience every moment of the action. And they're not jamming up uh, defensively, Kentucky, on that little cross screen. They're not paying attention, and you would mention sometimes you lose concentration, particularly as a, a young group. Without a doubt, you got to obviously give credit to Northern Kentucky there. When Finding you, something that works. Gabriel comes in, and they say, guys, that when they gathered as a team and hundreds of students and faculty members were around for the selection show last Sunday, Pandemonium when they found out that it was going to be Kentucky in the first tournament appearance. <laughs> and I'm sure the coaches went, oh, no. <laughs> Wait a minute now. We've got a little work to do. You guys are all excited now. Hold on a second. Fox, slash to the hole. And it counts. Explosive. Look about quickness. Literally to protect the basketball here. A little jab step left. Bye. Uh, he can do some damage with that dominant hand. We talked earlier, we saw Jawan Evans, who I thought might be the fastest with the basketball, but certainly Fox is right up there with yeah. him. Yeah, that would be interesting to see those two. What's like a match race, you know? What I'm talking about. Look at uh, almost force it. Uh, why call time? Well, I guess he saved the McDonald called the timeout. McDonald had a timeout right in front of us. Good call. As it turned out, fans don't understand it, but would have been way a before violation. Yeah. Timeout, Northern Kentucky. So it'll be Northern Kentucky basketball. You guys saw this right in front of us. It's McDonald. You got it right there. You can see it. Pretty alert play right there. It was a smart play. New 10 on the clock for Norris. Not the Norris. Heist. Norris. Norris. Dash Norris. Norris. That's what we're going to have to do. We're it. told it's just Norris. Norris. Dramatically incorrect, but proper. Norris with 10 to shoot. Yeah. High, low, I love yeah. it, I love it. Norris down low, and the basket by Williams. That kid is coming, he's playing, he's competing out here. 14 points for him, 10 coming in the second half. And they've executed a lot better, those baseline rubs, that time a little high, low. Quiet, has he hadn't been able to knock nice kick? Outside the foul call on Murray. A little pressure. 
Put that bounce down. Briscoe back on the floor. Ball was in play, and all of a sudden, the horn sounds. Uh, the shooting situation. One-on-one, -on -one, a little delay. Boy, it's amazing to watch Cal. He has been around a while now, when you think of it. I remember him as a low assistant at Pitt. I remember him there, too. I, I played at five-star basketball camp back in the 80s, and he was my coach at camp, and he was an assistant at Pitt. Did he offer you a scholarship? <laughs> <laughs> oh, actually, he did. I'm sure he did. Yeah. And Tony Barbie alongside him, terrific player at UMass under Cal. Didn't he recruit Archie Miller, or excuse me, Archie Miller's brother, Sean Miller? Yeah, sure. Yeah. He was yeah. part of that family extended. He actually, Cal wrote the forwards to the book written by their father, John Miller. Oh, wow. so, had, it been, had it been Dayton against Kentucky on Sunday, that would have been interesting with uh -huh. Coach Cal knowing that Miller family so well. This one your stuff, nice penetration. How about that? He can dominate. These guards are amazing in the lane. Talk about guys who can scoot Fox. Happy name. Ooh, here he is. Tapped out to Murray. McDonald wants to operate on Gabriel. But these two kids plug away, don't they, inside? Williams and McDonald. Two tough guys. Yeah, they're consistent. They stay tough, competitive, battle for everything. And they're young. You know, sophomore, freshman. Not a good basketball left in them. And straight up man, a little curl, Briscoe. Three to shoot. Out of bounds. Yep. Norris basketball out of the break. Kentucky can't quite shake up. It's 13. Adam Zucker in New York with this tournament update on TBS. Seven seed South Carolina, 90 minutes from campus. It's Cinderius Thornwell from three. He's got 22. The Gamecocks with their largest lead of nine. Winner gets Duke. As we go back to Jim Raft, Grant, and Tracy. All right, so the... Gamecocks leading in that one, and again, as you said, thank you, Adam. Duke, take on the winner of that game. Here in Indianapolis, it's Kentucky 52, Northern Kentucky 39. And the ball belongs to Norse. Thornwell and Dozier are pretty good players in South Carolina. Nice little tandem. This is a basketball program just five years removed from Division II. This could bring it to 10. Ooh, oh. Connor almost got it to go. He thought it was in too. Yeah, he did. Nobody even made an attempt there to break down defensively. Kentucky knocks it out. Get up to the rim. Nice little crossover. No one meeting him at the basket. Great athlete. He took a half a dozen steps, too, by the way, I think. Uh, you know, who's a good job. You know, you did that in your heyday. Oh, uh, you know. Common. Down low, McDonald. And that is out of bio. He can't the elevate. Block. Can't be explosive against him. Oh. Two more. You know what's interesting with Monk? He has struggled a bit shooting the ball from the perimeter, but every time he shoots it, I expect it to go in. Uh, and generally speaking, you're right. He is a big-time performer. Thomas trying to shake free, takes the two, and he's fouled. Well, these kids aren't going away. They are impressive. A little defensive lapses have hurt them, but uh, this kid... Lavone has really had a great start, got a couple of fouls, and now a little mid-range jumper with some nut on. You know, he's an expert juggler. 
is Levon Holland. And now, have you seen Basketball, it before? Have you tennis seen it balls. Before? Yeah, I have. Yesterday at practice. Where were we when that happened? I thought we were here watching the scene. <laughs> I guess we were doing our job. Yeah, we <laughs> I was being entertained. Oh, man. Gracie and I are checking it out. We missed out. Oh, open look. This kid. Unbelievable yes. stroke. Can't be X's and O's all the time, guys. <laughs> we do get boring, huh? Well, Willis really helps, and he can knock him down. Helps everybody on this team. Ooh, I like that defense, other than maybe a little reach in late. Looked like there, Garnett was determined to get that ball up at the basket. I agree. I'm not quite sure it was a foul, but Garnett's persistence paying off. Garnett to shoot two. Out of Warren Central High School right here in Indianapolis. Coming in April in three weeks. Yes, the tradition unlike any other. The Masters on CBS. All yeah. kinds of possibilities leading into this year's. Masters tournament, all these great young players. Raft and I wait for our invite. Yeah, a lot of new names, right? Young names, I should say, not necessarily new. A lot of first time winners, too, right? Yeah, but you know, you can see Dustin Johnson playing great. Speed and all these other guys. McElroy, it's going to be great to see Ricky Fowler with a recent win. Don't you have a show don't, that you're producing we're have, at the Masters? We're leading into the final round. Arnold Palmer. Last interview that Arnold ever recorded. That right? yeah. well, that's, that's a must say special. That was Holland taking it to the basket. I was at the Masters the last time Arnold uh, played. 2004. Followed him for a couple of holes. 2004. That was a basket by Briscoe. Gave him a couple of tips. But... Well, that was a. Quite a year. That was the year Mickelson broke through with his first ever mm -hmm. green jacket performance. He takes center stage as, as Ernie exited the stage for the last time at Augusta. He it up as high as Grant used to uh, when he celebrated <laughs> that. Oh, yeah, right. <laughs> with a leap into the air to win it. That last play looked like Cole Murray was diving for the ground. Willis is careful. You take this kid Cole Murray. Now, when he signed to come play at Northern Kentucky, they were going through that transition from Division Two, knowing the reclassification process takes four years. He signs. He knew that the only time he would have a chance to play in the NCAA tournament would be his senior year. Mm -hmm. And here they are. Yeah, I spoke to him yesterday about the same thing. He just said, "It's incredible. It's just this experience that they'll never forget, regardless of the outcome." Tracy. Well, Jim, when Cole Murray was in fifth grade, he was so into the NCAA tournament. He would come home from school. He would do his brackets. He'd have his Sharpie. He'd have his highlighter. He even told me he actually won when Florida won in 2006. He can't fill out the bracket now, but you know how excited he is to <laughs> actually be playing in the bracket, Jim. That is tremendous. Thank you, Tracy. There's Faulkner. Off on the three, Monk comes in with the big guys and takes it away at the eight-minute mark. He just glides around, too. Mm -hmm. i tell you who sounded just like that as a kid growing up, though. Jim so into the NCAA tournament, the guy between us, Mr. Hill. Oh, without a doubt, I fell in love with the game of basketball, watching the NCAA tournament. Fantastic basketball back in the 80s. And your dad used to take you, right? There was a little family bonding. Little father son bonding, yeah, yeah, right? Without a doubt. Five years, 1984 to 1988. Some of my best memories. And it's great you have one athlete in the family, anyhow. <laughs> you know, they used to sneak into the CBS hospitality uh, party before the game. They didn't go for anything, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Let's take a look at the Capital One Cup impact performance, and it's bam, getting it done. Seven double-double this season. 
tied a career high, tied his uh, best of the season, 15 rebounds. And, and what a perfect nickname when you think of it. He plays with such strength and abandon. He's cross Williams. Ah, he's able to get right through there. And this kid right here has had an impressive second half. Williams not intimidated. Nice crossover. Well, I like this team. I mean, they just have a lot of moxie. Uh, playing a really talented athletic team that's excellent defensively. Look at this strong move again. How about that? Trying to do a box imitation going coast to coast. Yep. <laughs> Except when you said, no, not right down here, big fella. You like this team, and they have virtually everybody coming back aside from Murray. And I like the style of the coach, too. John Brandon, very understated, very calm on the sideline. His coaching tree goes all the way back, if you will, to Patino. Kind of starts there. Talking about John Brandon. Played for Billy Donovan. First he started at Moorhead State, then with the Marshall. Played for Billy there. The biggest game changers in the history of Survivor are back. Survivor game changers Wednesday, 8, 7 Central. Only CBS. And then Anthony Grant became right. his that guy. The big connection, yep. no question about it. Because Anthony called them when they won their conference tournament because he's busy and OKC with a guy that's an automatic triple double. Oh, wow. How about that year? Unbelievable. Unbelievable. He had some success in the tournament. Russell Westbrook, yeah, UCLA. No, did a lot of his games. Yeah. He had no idea that one day he would develop into this mm -hmm. kind of star power. So it's just amazing what he can do. Look at this blow by. Ooh, that might have been a little cleaner than they thought. A little premature. Walker foul. Ball. Nick on the knee, too, as he came down. He's raising that leg a little bit. He's been uh, back from some ankle issues. Nagging. As Murray comes back to the floor. Houston, Texas. What's that make you think of? Give another one of your homes, I know. But no, no, hey, there, hey, but the University of Houston. Yeah, sure, your yeah, heyday. Time home. Yeah. I might have a lot of homes, but that one's special. You know, ba <laughs> basketball, actually. You're talking Spice Slam, a jam. I mean, exactly. I mean, oh, yeah. because of that, Coach Lewis. Got my start. Yeah. Thanks for that basketball program with Coach Lewis. Good to my buddies for life. That is Murray. Good for them, huh? Yeah. He's hanging around. And not afraid, unabashed. Kentucky right now liking that real killer to put him away and give teams an opportunity. Back out to Briscoe. Again, Powers in for two more. <laughs> McDonald get out of the way. That may be smarter than I am. <laughs> With that attack in strength. Yeah. Briscoe second to Fox in scoring for Kentucky. With 14. McDonald. Gotta love that open shot. And he's able to send it home. They just keep playing. Love it. Finally hit one. 12. All of a sudden, now you got to think a little bit of your Kentucky. Should I take it? Do I stroke it with a lot of conviction? Taken away by the doors. McDonald trailing, McDonald trailing. Here he is. One more time. Oh, nope. Where the stage was set it was for that to drop, which would have brought it to single digits. How about that? A little too deep, maybe. Push outside. Oh, hold bam. on. Bam, it's a moving hip. Yes. But when that happens, you have to blame the ball handler. You have to wait for the screen to be set. Briscoe might have gone a little too soon. Well, Bam might have, I think you're right, used his hip there, but. Northern Kentucky. Kentucky's giving them chances here. That is where you got to button up defensively for Kentucky. Run and execute with your Norris. 
Murray. No, no. A little too quick. Never got squared. Knows it, too. Nice play. Just, as you said, didn't get his feet set. Now, Tracy mentioned the bracket. I wonder if he picked them over Kentucky in his bracket this year. <laughs> Not allowed to fill out a bracket. Oh, well, I'm yeah. sure. Okay. We've never violated that rule. Stack look. Using clock here. Fox. And again, it comes back to NKU. Oh, goodness. Blocked by Fox, but Williams is there. Spin move, left hand, no. Beautiful move, but unable to cash in. He does a great job spinning. Great footwork. Looks like the initial jumper there. Alone. There's your answer. Bam. Look at that rebound. Reaches up and gets it back. To shoot a couple. Coming out of a break. 67 55. Wildcats. Kentucky. 67 55. Northern Kentucky putting up 29 three pointers. Our first game today, we had to call the end of uh, Michigan, Oklahoma State, off of one microphone. You called us the Temptations. <laughs> it, it, which brings to mind, it is Tracy's birthday. So, what do you say, guys? I'm not going to sing. Oh, but, oh uh, come on now. I mean, I wish you the happy best. Happy birthday to you. Happy, happy birthday <laughs> to you. Uh, happy birthday. Dear uh, Tracy. Uh, oh, man. Happy uh, birthday. Boy, she you. looks great for to 25. Huh? Oh, man. And Pat McGrath, her stats man uh, extraordinaire. Uh, it's his birthday as well. Wow. I'll tell you. Wow. I'm sure. You guys, you guys started to bail out on me there. Right? They, I went south. <laughs> this was oh, a, oh, yeah, was a man. you had it man. right grant i'll tell you what with all I, I i want to apologize on behalf of turner sports and cbs sports yeah to david ruffin and eddie kendrick's family and all the rest right. of them <laughs> oh man uh, that was fun though that was fun happy birthday crazy okay yeah, she is a doll makes everything happy for us she got a little chance to do some play-by-play. -play. Oh, we'll yes, Jim, it, it was certainly a memorable <laughs> birthday, <laughs> getting that lot. opportunity. <laughs> Appreciate it, guys, but don't quit your day job. Yeah, no kid. Time out, Kentucky. Time out, Kentucky. Temptations. <laughs> 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 Back in a moment. <laughs> After all the games are over, Casey Stern, Seth Davis, Brendan Haywood, and Auburn head coach Bruce Pearl have all the highlights and analysis on Inside March Madness, presented by Buick only on True TV. On the road to the Final Four, and you're looking at a road scholar, finalist in coach John Brannon back in his day. It's a different kind of road, if you will. Yeah. Impressive road may have made the final four in the road scholar candidacy. Yeah, they're using a little bit of clock now, and maybe Kentucky's had some opportunities. Oh, nice denial. Terrific job. McDonald. Uh, drags Bam away, gives some help for driving. Got a mismatch. McDonald didn't find him. Fox down there. Couldn't identify. Nice penetration, but don't. Oh, oh, great right back again by Williams. Now that's what the advantage is on a mismatch. If you don't get the entry pass, you're big enough to power, and Fox not comfortable down there to box out. Pretty nice play with the left. And Coach Cal, you saw him not liking what he's watching. 20 points for Williams, 16 of them in the second half. And 
Another stop here to extend the floor. Let's go. Nice to the middle. Down the paint, lobs it. Yeah, whistle first. Smart foul there by McDonald. Alley oop opportunity for Bam. Go. So Murray comes in for Garnett. How do you think Coach Cal? Assuming they're going to finish off the last two and a half minutes, how do you think he's going to handle things with his team after this game? Well, I, I think it's a little bit of a wake-up call. To be honest with you, you know when you get somebody in position to put them away, you can't toy. You know, people compete. We will use this as a teaching opportunity. Can't get complacent in the tournament. And of course, them to use a little clock here with good defense. McDonald whips it one-handed and in. Ten-point game. Bam. Oh, inside and taken away by the Norse. Imagine this going in. Down to seven. Oh, how about this team? Well, they called that a two. They called that a two. Foot was on the line, but still, it's down to eight. This is where Fox got to get them a good shot. Bam, inside, and he's hacked. Uh, what an impressive comeback by this club, huh? The ability to pull up, make the jumper. They had done a nice job inside, and how about a nice round of applause for these kids. They've been solid. Murray has fouled out. to appreciate how resilient they are just continue to compete play hard good things will happen obviously only a minute 40 left in the game down eight a lot can and will happen yeah, an impressive you, you lose your edge sometimes don't you think and that's what kentucky has well, so sometimes, not as sometimes when the game's too easy yeah. and things are happening so fast you like you said you get complacent So two shots. And Willis reinserted into the lineup for Kentucky. Oh, big time being made with a big guy make free throws. I think he's really got to dominate offensively as they go along in this tournament. Such a valuable addition in the front line. Holland into the front court with a minute and a half to play. Oh, lost it. Off yeah. his knee. Yeah, he's taking on too many people. So they took an 18-point deficit in this second half and brought it down to eight for a moment there. Now it's 10 with Kentucky inbounding. They want to use clock now. There's Briscoe. And yeah, he banks it home. Well, he's got some strength. I think a lesson to be learned here, I think, for Kentucky. He may be more dangerous because of it. Actually, maybe more productive. Is Parker Parker. Hits the three wow. and a timeout. Norse, love it. 74-65 in the final minutes. Northern Kentucky Norse taking their last timeout. 
after the first points produced from their bench tonight. Mason Faulkner knocking down a long range three. And right now they extend the floor. In situations of watch for somebody going long here. Run a trap. There you go. Nice crossover sets it up. A lot of more good ball handlers too. Three of them on the floor, a little giveaway. Going to the line for a couple. For Monk, it's been a quiet night, hasn't it? It has. It's a great talent. Three out of 11 from the field, including 0 for 6 from 3. And he's had open looks. Mm -hmm. Shots that he has made most of the season from the perimeter, just unable to convert. We're talking about a player to put up 47 against North Carolina. That's the most points scored against North Carolina by any opponent since Dick Grote back in 1963. Oh, uh, and I thought he was a shortstop. Yeah, yeah. Two-way player. McDonald. Oh, oh, baby. Now it's seven with 31 seconds. Uh, give it again. How about these kids? And big John Brandon as well. Ooh. Very easy going demeanor on the sideline yes, as well. Exactly. Faulkner fouls out for Norris. That will give John Brandon a chance to talk to his team because they're out of timeouts, but they'll get the time allotted here for a disqualified player. At least summit for a second. A program that last played on CBS back in 96 and 97. And we had the Division II championship game from Freedom Hall on our air during our March Madness coverage. They lost to Fort Hayes State one year and to Cal State Bakersfield another, but they were the national runner-up back-to-back seasons 20 years ago. Monk. Got a boat. A little quick push. Maybe we get a oh, back move by Holland. How about that for control? Monk sprints into the front court. He's fouled by Garnett. And Kentucky up seven. 20 seconds away from a date with Wichita State. And yeah, they better they have to play better than this in that game. And that, that team really gets after you defensively. And although for Wichita State, the Earlies and Van Bleets and Bakers are all gone, and there's still that staff over there with, led by Greg Marshall and that very faithful fan base, Wichita State. We'll look forward to a chance to meet up with Kentucky again, try to avenge what happened in their undefeated season going into their game in 2014 in the second round. And Greg so, gets kids who get better and play hard. Final seconds here. Kentucky never able to blow this open because of a great effort by Northern Kentucky. It's a final here at 79-70. Wildcats win it and set up that matchup we mentioned against Wichita State come Sunday. Pretty impressive. Northern Kentucky showed a lot of people, huh? Some moxie. Big time. There you see South Region. Down at the bottom, the game we'll have here in Indianapolis. A couple of days out, the Shockers and the Wildcats. Coverage on CBS begins tomorrow at noon Eastern. For Bill Raftery, Grant Hill, and Tracy Wilson. Jim Nance saying so long from Indianapolis. We'll send you to our studios after these messages.